Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess from Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm really excited to do this video for you guys because today is Wednesday. This is the day in my calendar, in my schedule, where I designate this time, or at least I did, to making sure that I am organized, that I'm pulled away from everything, I'm taking a break, and I'm getting ready for the rest of the week. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm a Virgo. I love to be productive, I love to be organized, and I love the tarot. So putting all of those facts together, I don't know why this didn't dawn on me before, but I was organizing today and I was thinking about the rest of the future and I'm like, you know what, before I try to come up with the best plan for my week and every week, I'm going to consult the tarot, I'm going to consult the Lenormand, and then I was like, let me share this with my tribe. So that's what we're going to be talking about today is how I use the tarot in order to organize my week. Now this is the first time that I've ever done this. Like I said, this idea just came to me while I was taking my Wednesday to clean up and get things organized and clean the apothecary. Oh, I forgot to say that if you're wondering why the tarot is on the board, why I have tarot cards pinned on the board, it's because Tuesdays are my days that I designate to the Sacred Circle Tarot School, which is about to reopen again for enrollment. September, let me check. September 16th. There's a lot of things that I have on my plate, a lot of balls that it is that I'm juggling and a lot of things that I like to stay organized and I don't want to not have a magical week and I don't want to not be productive. So again, tarot is where it's at. When I say planning my entire week, what I am saying is it's not just this week. My intention is to connect with my guides in order to help me to make sure that every week of the entire month and the month to come is something that is productive and that is predictable and and guidance that they see is best for me. Now you guys know I use tarot for everything and if you don't then you're probably new to my channel and if that's the case I want to welcome you to subscribe because we talk about tarot and astrology every single week. I wanted something that I could plan on, something that was predictable, something that I knew that was going to be a part of my routine. The deck that I decided to work with today is not the tarot, it's actually the Lenormand deck. I will link it down below in the description box so you can see and if you want to you can get your hands on it yourself. But pretty much what I did was I saged the deck, I cleansed the deck first because I was using this last night while I was working with the Sacred Circle Tarot School. And as I was shuffling, I was setting my intention and I was asking my guides, what is it that they see for me is the most productive way for me to plan my week for the next three months. I cut the deck into three piles like I would normally do in order to bless it, put those cards back together, and then I broke them down into seven different piles, each one of those piles representing a different day of the week. So the first pile would be Monday, the second pile would be Tuesday, third, Wednesday, fourth, Thursday, and so on until Sunday. I chose three cards for each pile because I like to add additional confirmation cards to make things make a little bit more sense, especially when I'm working with the Lenormand deck. Like I said, I chose to work with the Lenormand deck and I feel like how these cards communicate, how they speak and the messages and how you read it are so specific that it was the perfect deck to work with. But of course, follow your intuition. If you decide that you want to work with the Oracle or if you you want to work with tarot or use them in conjunction and pair them up then by all means as I laid the cards out it made so much sense and I'm like this was brilliant I'm gonna use myself as an example and show you exactly what the cards suggested is the best way for me to plan out my week but before I do that I am gonna return back to the spread I'm going to pair it up with some of the Oracle decks I haven't decided which one of my Oracle decks I'm gonna use in order to add additional information and clarity to how they want to see me plan my week but you'll see how the Lenormand was such a good choice for me. That being said, let me go ahead and use myself an example and show you what it is that I pulled. All right, you guys. So first and foremost, please ignore the mess that is my desk. Like I said, last night was Sacred Circle Tarot School. So I had incense burning. I have crystals. I have cough drops for my throat. I have some honey here from Whole Foods, a protection candle that it is that I'm burning. So just disregard that. But these are the cards that I pulled that are helping to guide me as far as what is the best way for me to spend my time for this week every week in a way that is most productive and magical that works best for me and my energy and also my goals and my plans okay so the first pile here represents monday then we have tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday and sunday now again the deck that it is that i'm 
choosing to work with is the Lennerman deck and the links for that will be down below. Over here I have my notes as far as what I felt intuitively and also what those cards meant for me on a personal level but let me just go ahead and break down for you what Monday looked like and what I pulled for myself. So the first cards that I pulled that represent Monday are the mountain, the stork, and the park. When I pulled those cards it made so much sense because a little fun fact about me and if you don't know this then it's probably because you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel but every Monday is the day that I go public people know that they can expect me to show up and to give my predictions for the week ahead when it comes to astrology, tarot, and my intuitive predictions. This is something that you guys can expect every Monday. And if I don't show up on Monday, it's because something has happened. They got me. Who's they? I don't know, but they got me, right? So it made a lot of sense when I pulled these cards for myself when it comes to what I should use Monday for because the stork is the card of these constant changes, these things that we can expect, the things that other people can expect, and the park card is all about being public and sharing and putting yourself out there in that way. And that's exactly what it is that I've been doing. And then this mountain card is those obstacles, those challenges that don't change. They're very rigid. And this is something that I've been doing for years. Those are the three cards that I picked for Monday and it resonates so much. Now for Tuesday, the cards that I pulled are the letter, the house, and the moon card. This was another moment of confirmation for me because Tuesdays are designed for the Sacred Circle Tarot School and this is where I'm giving out information which is the letter card within the Lenormand when it comes to your intuition, working with tarot, working with astrology and I do this all for my home environment. So Tuesdays really are a heightened, intuitively charged day where information is shared in that way from the home environment within that sacred space. Now the next few cards that I have pulled for Wednesday are the heart card, the card of choice and decisions, and then also the star card. So the star card within the Lenormand deck is all about things that are almost preordained or fated or thing. it's like following the stars, following this internal compass. And the heart for me personally is the center of my universe, my personal universe, at the center of my world. So I love these cards for Wednesday because I feel like what these cards are saying and I want to back this up with some oracle cards and as I'm saying this I think I'm going to work with the wild offering to kind of layer onto what I've already pulled for myself to give me additional clarity and confirmation. But I feel like what the cards are saying and suggesting and what my guides are suggesting for me to do on Wednesdays is to choose to do the things to follow my heart that might be different every week but are all about giving me that space to decide what it is that I need to do and I also kind of feel like this is a moment for me to behind the scenes I don't know if this is through Twitter or through Instagram check in with you guys in order to remind you to consult the astrology chart or consult the predictions that I've already put out there to help you choose to do the things that it is that you love. Also, I feel like this Wednesday day, because of this um, card of choice in between and the heart card, it's almost like Wednesday should be a day where it might not be so predictable, like so routine. It's almost like we're making a choice. Okay, this might be a day where, again, I connect with you guys and say, this is a time to come back and consult the chart again, but Maybe this is a time for me to share a video, provide additional guidance, because th that also is something that I really love. So that those are the cards that I chose for Wednesday. Now for Thursday, I have the letter card, I have the stork, so this is about predictable changes again, and also information, and also the gamble. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday were days that I really was excited to see what the cards would pull out for me, just because those are the days that I would like to have more direction. Now, seeing Thursday with the letter and the stork and the the dice, which is almost like a gamble. This is connecting to information and being predictable. So I feel like this is an, another day within my work week where I'm coming to you guys in a predictive way where you can expect something from me. I just don't know what that is yet. So I would like to follow up with these cards because they're obviously guiding me and suggesting that there's something that is a routine space of information sharing, but with the dice card here, it almost seems like a gamble, a risk, but I don't know what that is. So I'm definitely going to consult my tarot when it comes to that to provide additional clarity and confirmation with this. So on Friday, I have the tower card, I have two trees, and I have the well. So do you remember when I said that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Sundays were days that have been wonky for me? The reason why is because I still haven't had 
some time set and a routine set that is exclusively for me and organizing my home life. So I was really curious to see what spirit and what my guides would suggest is the best time for me to make time for my home environment, for my home, for my health, etc., etc. Not to say that I don't take care of my home and my health every other day, but I definitely wanted a day in the week that was exclusively focused towards that. And what I love is the fact that these cards are showing up when it comes to home, health, and the hearth. Even though these aren't the home cards, the tree, the, the, the card of stability and health and vitality is what showed up twice here for me. This is so significant. And also the tower card. The tower card is all about isolating yourself, having boundaries, and just pulling away from the world. As an introvert, I personally love this card. And as an earth sign, I love the trees. So I felt like with Friday, with these set of cards, Friday is the day for that. Friday is the day to totally disconnect from everyone and everything, isolate myself, climb into my tree house, and get my things in order. Get to the bottom of things, get to the root of things, and make things right for me. That's a wish that it is that I have for myself too. And it's funny that the well card is the card that pulled up for that. So Friday is the day for me exclusively, which I love. Also, the well card is about getting to the bottom of things. So I look at this and I see this as a card of resources. I see this as me going to the well, dropping the bucket down, filling, filling it up with water and bringing it back to my home environment. And that's a responsibility and something that I've been wanting to do for myself. So let's go ahead and take a look into Saturday and Sunday. And for these cards, I have the whip, the clover and the mountain. Now when I see the clover and the whip, these two together, I see this as a day strictly for pleasure or strictly for punishment. Now when I say the word punishment, I'm not saying that I'm punishing myself or anyone else. I think this is a day to just kind of like get things into order or to go out and to enjoy myself and that is strictly a day for that. Now again, I'm a Virgo. Virgo rules the sixth house. The sixth house is being of service to others and these are some rules and some boundaries that I need to be way more strict with because I can be very much a workaholic and I can do the most when it comes to that and I'm trying again to get back into a space of total balance for myself. So this day on Saturday is no work. It's all about getting my life in order and doing what it is that I have to do when it comes to my errands and whatever or actually going out and enjoying myself and having a good time. Nothing more than that, nothing less. All right, spirit, I hear you when it comes to that. And with the mountain card showing up, this is just a non-negotiable. It doesn't matter if there's things that are going on or if there's other projects that I could be doing, the day needs to be rigid when it comes to either play or actually getting things in order. I can respect that. And finally, the cards that I have for Sunday are the fox, the blade, and also the clouds. When I look at the fox and when I look at the blade, I see this as just getting away, escaping away from responsibilities, not having to do anything, and cutting a lot of crap out. The blade here is all about making cuts and harvesting, harvesting certain things. So I see this as bringing the full week to a close and disconnecting and escaping in whatever way feels best for me. The other thing is that the fox is all about, why did my camera just move? That was weird. The other thing is, is that the fox is all about being cunning and having a plan, like a reason for doing things. Sometimes we look at the fox as a negative thing or a bad thing, but you guys know at this point that I don't see something as all bad or all good. It just is what it is. It's just energy at the end of the day. But the clouds is all about confusion and not knowing what is going to happen or maybe not seeing things or maybe your perception might be a little off or you want to look into your perception a little bit more and the blade the sky card or the skid card i think it's sky is all about cutting through and harvesting and bringing things to a culmination kind of cutting through the bullshit so when i'm looking at these cards what i see is creating a plan and plotting for what is to come to help me to harvest to help me to plan ahead for the next week i just see this more as plotting and planning planning for myself in order to help me to harvest and to cut through any chaos and confusion that the week might bring. All right, you guys, so that is what my week is going to be looking like according to the cards, according to my guides. I'm 100% here for it. I'm gonna try it for the next three months. After I say goodbye to you guys, I am going to take about an hour or two to kind of sit and think and absorb all of what it is that I saw for myself, all of what it is that I pulled for myself, and then I'm going to follow up with some oracle cards and shuffle and 
pull them just because I like to have that additional support and clarity for myself. So I'm wondering how you guys think about this. Like, do you feel like this would be something that would be great for you to help to organize your week? Do you feel like you need a little bit of organization and productivity, especially at the time of me filming this? It's September and we're all kind of going back into that work mode. And if you do decide to shuffle the cards and plan your week ahead, what are you pulling for yourself? I want to see your agendas. You can tag me at Bahati Life or use the hashtag Bahati Vibe Tribe or you can share with me and the rest of the tribe down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!